Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, guys, if you're looking for my personal information to book a personal reading, it is in the description box below the video. If you're looking for the extended, it's in the description box and in the comment section. And if you're looking for all 12 signs, they'll be at the back of the video. So let's get into this reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What's going on, Pisces? Right out the gate. Empress energy. Wow. Wow. Four major arcanas right out the gate. Put that up there. My OCD's kicking in. Okay. So I feel like right off the gate, you have four major arcanas. First four cards out. I feel like you're patiently wanting justice you're taking the time to look at things from a different perspective about something long-term and committed and your heartbreak over this judgment you want to i feel like this is a reconciliation to try to rebuild your happiness you're back and forth on whether or not you want to cut somebody out of a relationship You're not speaking to your wish fulfillment. Um, it's causing you a tower moment. You're not speaking to the one you want to be with. Is not. It's causing you a tower moment. The harsh truth is being, it's almost like someone's guarding a harsh truth about somebody from the past. Or somebody from the past is guarding a harsh truth under the bottom of the deck. Moving forward, moving forward. Somebody's watching a new passionate beginning with a queen of one. Oh, wow. Okay. So moving forward here, somebody is watching a passionate new beginning with a queen of wands. So you're heartbroken over a relationship. You're thinking about cutting somebody out. It looks like they're with somebody else. You're, you're trying to reconcile and rebuild your own happiness. I almost feel like that's you personally. I don't know that it's reconciling the relationship because you're back and forth about whether or not you want to cut somebody out of the relationship. And I almost feel like this is almost like you want to cut out your twin, right? With that four of wands. Why is the empress here? Because of a queen of wands, queen of cups. Communicating. Oh, 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 oh. You may be communicating to this queen of wands, Pisces. This is about your empress energy. You may be communicating between you and this third party. You're trying to, to find some peace or balance about some kind of betrayal. You want justice and healing. You're looking at something from a different perspective about your heartbreak. Something long-term and committed. Something that you waited for for a long time. You're looking out to the future. But you're heartbroken because there was no equal give and take. The judgment and justice. You may want a divorce from somebody. Now, judgment and justice is a final judgment in justice. So you could be a divorce. I feel like, but you're manifesting. This is almost like, I want to know, did you, you're at a crossroads about getting a divorce. You, you're, you're in two different mindsets. Do I want to rebuild this relationship? Because this is rebuilding and manifesting something long-term and committed. Or, but you're at a crossroads about whether or not you want to divorce somebody. You're walking away. You thought, you're walking away from your happiness. You're, you're back and forth about moving on. I feel like with this, you're making a decision to cut out something that made you very happy and you need the strength to block somebody. I feel like you're in two different mindsets. 
right? There were secrets in a relationship and somebody held back because of those secrets and they caused a lot of burden. So you're holding on to the burdens of what's hidden in a relationship. But that's what's happening here. You are holding on to the burdens. Look at that. So you have a relationship and there's something hidden that you're holding on to the burdens. You're holding on to the burdens of the relationship. And here I feel like, you know, you making a decision to cut out somebody that made you very happy and you needed the strength to block somebody. And I think it's centered around you having a conversation with this queen of wands, not speaking to your wish fulfillments caused you a tower moment. You want a victory, but you're trapped in your head about somebody from the past. It's almost with that judgment card. You, you, you want to work on reconciling. So you're at a crossroads about divorcing this person, but twice you're very, very back and forth about whether or not you want to ever have something with this person again. It's almost you're releasing them here and you're carrying the burden and then you're carrying the burdens and you want a victory to release this, but you're still trapped in your head about whether or not making this thing work would be better. So even if you've walked away from somebody you love and cut them off, when you do this, you're back and forth. And the reason you're back and forth, Pisces, is because this is your twin, okay? This is the emperor. You can't get rid of the emperor. Even no matter how hard, I mean, I can't even tell you personally how many times I wanted to just cut that cord with a sledgehammer. You know what I'm saying? Just cut that damn thing in half. But it doesn't happen that way. You can't, you cannot break this, this cord between the two of you. Now, right person, wrong time. Is there lessons to be learned on both sides of this for both of you? Absolutely. Is that queen of wands going to be in the picture forever? No, they're not. Okay. So I, I want to, this, you're, you're guarding a harsh truth about somebody from the past. The harsh truth that you're guarding is that you have had communication with the person he's with him being the emperor. Okay. Whoever this is, you're guarding the harsh truth about something from the past, you know, right? Someone was strategically trying to move on. And it caused a tower moment for you. You're coming in as a queen of pentacles here. You wanted a new beginning and you wanted the truth, but you're not speaking and it makes you very unhappy because of a choice somebody made. Divine timing is at play for something to come Karma's going to happen. They're going to get their karma. They're going to get their karma. Not only is the emperor going to get his karma, he's going to learn a hard lesson. And that's part of what that karmic's job is. Because, you know, what, what everyone kind of leaves out of the equation of this twin flame journey is you have a part to play, your twin has a part to play, and the karmic has a part to play. That person is there to teach the two of you the lessons that you have to learn to get to where you need to be. That person plays a vital part in this. And even though it's hard, that person is there to strengthen you for the road ahead. You have to be broken down. The egos have to be broken down and rebuilt so that you could face the journey ahead. Because this is a very tough journey. It, if you're a twin, it is a very tough journey. This isn't something that's very easy to go through. Harsh truth about the relationship with the King of Pentacles. You could be married, right? That you love this person very much, right? But you're looking back at past mistakes. There is emotional communication about all of the drama, the strife, the jealousy, the competition, and someone is very guarded and defensive, right? You. You know, you know the truth about this. It's almost like you're watching it unfold. It's breaking your heart, but you love this person dearly. I feel like, yeah, I feel like right now you're kind of in a mindset of, do I stay or do I go? If you go, you're unhappy. If you stay, you're unhappy. So you're in a mix of, of what do I do next? What do I do next? That's kind of what this is. Regardless of what's happening, you have had conversations with this third party and this person that you're with does not know that they're, they're coming in as a king of pentacles. And I feel like very 
there's a very strong reason why you're coming in as an empress and an empress and they're coming in as a king of pentacles it it may have to be that they have not had their awakening yet they are not aware of what they need to do or who you are to them okay they haven't graduated so to speak okay so in here you're not evenly yoked anyway if you're above them your vibrations higher than them and they need to get on your level that's the problem Right. I feel like this is trials and tribulations right here. This is you going through all of this. Right. And but I, I see you having a victory because you're already here. Pisces, this is you. You're already the empress. So you have learned more already than this other person has. You've had a victory. Right. Life purpose, past life soulmates. This is it. Rolling the dice. You feel like it's a, it's a gamble. Something's a gamble. Something's a risk for him. Like he's rolling the dice. He's rolling the dice where your heart's concerned. And he kind of is. Like right now, he knows that there's a deeper connection with you than he can understand. But right now, he is kind of rolling the dice. That's exactly what I feel. Um, he's gambling with your love. That's what this is. And I feel like it will over, you will overcome this, right? You will overcome this. But you have to go through it. You have to trust the process. You really do. And some people are going to go, well, that's not my story. Well, it's not because you're not a twin. If you're a twin, you're going to understand exactly what I'm saying. Now, this is directed to whoever this empress is. Now, and not everybody can be an empress. I saw a comment about that yesterday. Everybody can be an empress. No, you can't. No, you can't. You, no, you can't. Unless you're a twin flame, you are not an empress. You are, and not everybody's on the journey of a twin flame. They're not, right? This person, friendship. I feel like abundance. Apology. Okay. Secret. Okay. I feel like, Pisces, you may have been friends with this queen of wands. And this, this queen of wands, um, there may have been secrets that they want to apologize for what was hidden. Um, so that you may have found out that um, abundance, money may be involved here. This may be about some kind of money exchange um, or somebody's getting something financial out of this. But I feel like with this, with this friendship, that's here and something secret that somebody's apologizing that person you may know the person personally that's with your person right but it's unrequited with them there's no love there it's sexual or about money it has to do with something other than love right it's an unrequited relationship the competition See, the competition, it's unrequited. There's no love there. Now, they may be able to have sex with your, your person, but they'll never have their heart. That's kind of how this works. That love always belongs to you, no matter what. Even when they're on the other side, because my twin has passed. And on the other side, that love has not ever changed. It's never changed, right? Going forward. Releasing. Having the courage to let go of something, right? And bring it to a standstill. I feel like this is what you need to know right now. In all of this, Pisces, it may be time for you to let go of that. You can't release it. So um, understand what I'm saying, letting go, meaning not pursuing, not pursuing for the time being, for the time being. This isn't about indefinitely. This is for the time being so that you can heal, so that you can recover, so you can understand what you need to do next, right? Because you're going to start getting downloads. You're going to start understanding this a lot better than you are right now, right? But this is being, let, having the courage to let this, let this lay still for a minute, right? That's what they're saying. Yep, going forward, release release what's not serving you let go of things that are not serving you and and have the courage to to stand still to let things stay lay state in a state of no movement whatsoever um i feel like you're getting that because there's some healing that needs to happen for you um regardless of what they're doing right they're going to come back around trust me when i tell you they're going to come back around 
they're never going to be too far from your energy. But in the meantime, um, I feel like you need to just focus on you. Blessings, finding your blessings and answers, right? With confidence. You know, I feel like when you do let go of something, your, your guides are going to give you direction. You're going to understand the process much better. So let's take this to all 12 signs and then we'll go get, we'll do a, a an extended on this so that you understand what you need to do in this, in this, um, in this journey and what your person's doing. So, because I do feel like that you may know the person personally that is, um, with your person, you know, this may have been a friend of yours that, that was sneaking around behind your back with your man or your woman, take it how it resonates with you. It could go either way. Empress or emperor it could be a masculine or a feminine for that means. So, um, but you're, you're going to find out the truth in everything. Um, someone may even be apologizing to you, but there is somebody interfering in this connection. Okay, so give me the energy for Pisces. Turn that off, it's a little hot. Give me the energy for Pisces, please. Energy for Pisces. Pisces, what's going on? Oops, not gonna take those. What's going on for Pisces, please? So I feel like you're, you may be moving forward here and communicating with a um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, so you may start talking to somebody. Now this could be a judge. This could be a lawyer because the king of swords can be an attorney, can be a judge, right? Somebody in authority, someone who, um, you know, very strategic person, right? So this could be an attorney. You may be talking to an attorney about this. You may be getting advice from somebody else. Give me all 12 signs around Pisces, starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, someone's trapped in their head about a judgment. What will people think? What will, you know, what's happening? Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, the tower moment is someone's playing mind games and manipulating somebody. If you're dealing with a Gemini, somebody's heartbroken over the burden. If you're dealing with a cancer, somebody's obsessed with the competition, the drama, the strife, the jealousy, the competition, the drama. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo um, is, is something's illuminated that there's no equal give and take. If you're dealing with um, a Virgo, there's an ending with somebody from the past. If you're dealing with a Libra, Someone's kind of guarded and defensive divine timings at play um, where a king of wands is concerned. So I feel like, um, you know, the time is now. Someone's like standing their ground against a king of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. You're dealing with a Scorpio. You got a ten of cups and a ten of pentacles. You have, you have something that's long-term and committed with a family situation. If you're dealing with an, a Sagittarius, um, the emperor has a choice. The emperor has a choice to make. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody's communicating to a lot of options. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody's apologizing. They have regrets. And if you're dealing with another Pisces, the harsh truth about work, something's work, somebody's working on the harsh truth or what's this working on the harsh truth about? I feel like passionately communicating, um, working, it's almost like arguing and fighting, trying to work on the truth, whatever the truth is, it's harsh. And someone's at a crossroads trying to, um, looking back at the past mistakes. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to find out 
what you're going to do because you're in two different mindsets, Pisces. You're trying to figure out if you want to stay or if you want to go. But I feel like you are consulting an attorney. You may be moving forward. To speak to an attorney it could be about getting a divorce um, if you're married um, whatever it is you're dividing up assets um, but guys um, let's see what's what your person's doing what this third party's doing and what you're going to do so if that resonates with you please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you over in Gumroad for the extended